I like the candle going. Okay. Well, no, just sit down. Sit down. Sit down. We got to do this fast. It's starting to get hot in here. Okay, so this video... Oh, well, no, that's going to make noise if I turn on the fans. So we only have a very short period of time because we have to shut off the air conditioning in this thing because the air conditioning is so loud and our microphones are too sensitive. If we use the good mics, then we don't want it. What this, what this video is about is attempting to make high quality uh, video for your vlog or for your podcasts. And I'll tell you what, a certain amount of setup is required to get an equipment and equipment of course and getting to know what's the best equipment for that specific uh, video that you're trying to put together is important so you have that equipment ready and you don't take hours trying to figure it out and that's what we're trying to do today um, we want to put a little bit more, more time and effort into creating and putting together um, videos and um, being able to do it a lot more regularly. I have a full production schedule with my clients. Mm -hmm. And when I do things for my clients, I, I think of it differently than when I do our stuff. I pull out all of, the I pull out best. the red carpet, I pull the best stuff out, the and best, what happens best, is, best. is that it takes me <laughs> a lot of time. I have not mastered being super fast because I like to be methodical. And so it makes it a real trick. When when, it, when it's time to create something for us, we just don't have the energy. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the energy. So trying to figure out how to make this so that I have the energy to be able to do a fast, quick well video, well produced for you. Because I don't like putting up garbage. And this isn't going to be necessarily super, super quality. No, no. This is just a test. But, I mean... I can show, I'll come back in and, and do with this. The fact is, is that you can see the rig that we've got there. We've got a Rode condenser mic, shotgun mic, connected to the Zoom H5. We're recording this video, not the one you're seeing right this second, because I'm showing you the rigging up there. But when you're looking at us, that's in 4K from the Samsung NX1. We've got a little Bauer light there but we got the zoom h5 up top so what what i'm gonna have to do is i've got to sync this sound because i don't use the um, image or the sound processing on board the camera i'm not pulling it there i'm gonna pull it and then i'm gonna have to sync up the sound oh yeah clap for me three times clap yeah thank you okay so you can clap again. Do it again. Thank you. So the point is, a lot of effort goes into this. It might seem like a small thing, but first I was thinking about using this, but the problem is, is I don't have three cold shoes on top of this. And even with my extension that has two cold shoes, Sony pisses everybody off they piss me off royally and if somebody knows how to do this I can't get anybody else's cold shoot amount into Sony's um, mount there we shall ask that Japanese guy that do all the production of Sony production stuff I don't know who he is oh we saw a video of him that's right the Japanese guy speaks with British yes yeah did Rev he does everybody not just Sony oh. baby no, no, no. There was a show, and there was a guy from Japan just showing Sony products, and he actually saw me with a few cameras that I saw in the show. We saw the video. It's okay. Okay. We'll go back to that. <laughs> so, being able to produce stuff, like the next thing that we wanted, and, and being able to do it fast, being yes. able to do it fast and mobile, because... Efficiency. Efficient, um, not time-consuming for us, because we still have to work, and... Create some and so you can income. tell so and so you can tell a story. Yeah. So you don't want to do all this setup just for this shot, and then have to go and do a whole bunch of other shots and 
change all your rigs and change everything up, you want to be able to have it mobile. That's why I'm really hoping that I can do something with the phone mm -hmm. and the Osmo mobile. Mm -hmm. The deal is, is I'm afraid I'm not going to be able Can we create some quality product with more simple cameras? Right. If you're in a fixed condition, then maybe it's just going to be a trick. I'm, I'm really anxious to see mm -hmm. how it plays out. And DJI, if you're out there, if you've got good answers to this, because like, for example, this is a challenging lighting situation. Oh, yeah. We have all of the outside light that comes in and you got to That's why we're blacked out. Not because we hate the light. But we because love the light. We love the light. But if I go ahead and open this up, let's see what happens. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's what happens. Yeah. No. I mean, let's check this out. Ugly. I've got to put so Terrible. much light from this side. To filter that, it's just not worth the time and effort. I, now I've got to, I mean, let's see, no. we'll pop on us, no, is it going to change? I mean, I can go and change the settings and everything, but that's what, I mean. what a pain in the arse. Well, that's, that's, that's what we're doing this. I mean, granted, so it's going to do that whether I'm on this camera or, any or camera. whether I'm on the yeah what you said before about you know making sure that your lighting is correct all your conditions are right mm -hmm. it's very important yeah. the big pieces the big key pieces though if you're trying to set up a vlog are one make sure you get some equipment that you're going to be able to use quite regularly because the biggest failure to any video <laughs> Um, is not doing it and and just stopping because it takes time as soon as you do one or two and you start editing that film and that footage and you care about it because I I'm a I really care about the quality of product that I put out if you care about it then you're gonna want to put out good stuff and you're gonna want it to sound good you're not gonna want it to sound cheap up to this moment everything that we have out there has been just just for to, cruising together, yeah, it has. Yeah, just to show something, just to to bring people to places we visit. But it has been not a Not My Town production, the way you like it. Right, which drives me crazy, because then I never get started, because it's just... Yeah. Honey, I'm not going to pay for that. Yes. yes. I don't get to pay for this, so I can't do it. But I wanted, I want to be able to do this. I want to be able to bring it, because... I, and I have to start getting in the habit of being able to shoot every single day we are going to be doing interesting things in the near future and with the interesting things we've got coming we're going to need um, to be more efficient in creating videos um, simple but efficient and quality videos yeah I mean we see great things from Gone with the Winds and Sailing Uma and there's other folks that are out there living with less junk and yeah. people in the RV and with the kids. they put together some nice stuff, for sure. Yeah. So, we want to bring cruising together to that level. And, and create some great videos. We love doing that anyways. So, why not? While we're here. <laughs> Hold on. Some of the stuff that we use. And while he's getting settled, I have to say we have to thank all our followers in Instagram. Um, we haven't really tried hard to put uh, cruising together out there on Instagram. Um, again, we, we're very busy working in our company, but um, 
we have a few followers and we want to say thank you yeah thank you very much keep following we'll keep on trying to put up some really good quality photography and video we do our best not to put up dookie no. okay so a couple things if you're doing video uh, for your vlog and you're wanting to use good good things and you're out there and you're constantly looking at new stuff like I am I'm always in the market and you don't have the money for the red um, you know fifteen thousand dollar rigging we have a lot of neat rigging I still don't have the red or the Canon C700 or C500 that type of stuff we have made um, pricing we Average. We've got we got pro I have I have pro level stuff um, before you go into crazy cinema. Mm -hmm. So here are some of the drawbacks and some of the things that I have found that I'm looking at right now that are really important to me and they're gonna come up as you're looking. So the first my first camera the my favorite camera is this Canon 5D Mark III. This camera is a photography powerhouse you can make absolutely incredible photos with it and you can make really beautiful videos it's an interchangeable lens camera and its biggest downfall to me is that it doesn't have continuous autofocus on video and continuous autofocus on video is why I am using the Samsung right now and it was what the choice between this and this because if I'm doing casual and I'm not behind the camera then I need continuous autofocus during video this does continue autofocus during video. Um, I'll tell you a million times, this camera is completely underrated because it's a... I love that camera. Or this, this form factor of camera, if you can get a good quality one, especially if it's 4K, um, because it has the continuous autofocus, you can go ahead and tag the that. face of the person and it'll follow them. Yeah. Um, on the newer ones, you can tag, I think, multiple faces. And it's it's user-friendly, because I'm not an expert. He is, but I'm not. And for me, that camera is less intimidating than some of the other cameras. So, I And sometimes that. you don't have time to go through and auto-set the white balance and the aperture and the you know shutter speed and all that. You want it all done, or almost all done for you, because, again, you're not right behind the camera, and you want to be able to have a little control, but or you want it to be able to just go mm -hmm. and that'll do an amazing job mm -hmm. this Samsung that we're recording on right now the Samsung NX1 cool camera takes great photos it's a different style of photo than say this Canon 5D Mark III um, the Canon 5D Mark III is built a little bit more rugged the the downfall to the Samsung really is the codec I have every time I take a video like this, and this is something that's held me up, is I gotta take this stupid, I gotta take this file, and then I'm gonna have to convert it. And I can leave for an hour and come back and it'll just be finished converting. And that's on the biggest MacBook Pro that they've got. It's the most latest with the video card and all that jazz. I think you should talk a little bit about that too, because it's not just the, the cameras. You still need to get your um, programs. Right. Great so computer. when you once you if if this is something you really want to do, yes, you can shoestring it along and you can do it on on lesser equipment, but it's going to take a whole lot of time. It takes a lot of time on good equipment. <laughs> yeah. It takes there there there's a, a lot that goes into it on good equipment. Um, you're going to want to get the beefiest computer that you can get, and you're going to want to make sure that it has a, a, a discrete graphics card, something where, or, or an external graphics card. Um, and by that I mean it has its own independent RAM for graphics alone, and you're going to want to get some meat because if you're trying to process 4K video, it can t really take some time and it can get totally bogged down. So those are some considerations sound too. Oh, and sound is a whole other beast, and we're just going to go with the fact that right now the temperature in here is getting heated up because I care about sound, and I have to keep my air conditioners off so that I can tape this and or record this and have it be okay. A decent yeah. sound. Yeah. Next, when you're out um, when you're out and you're, you're live, I have shoulder rigs, 
and I have stabilizers, and then we've got gimbals. And gimbals are one of the biggest products that are out there, and they're starting to come down in price. And it's the biggest question mark that we have. We already have an Osmo, um, and and that's a good device there. Um, but we need more Osmos and more gimbal stuff. This one is a gimbal for the GoPro, and that gives you a nice big wide view. The problem with this thing is that I'm not going to be able to add any other sound equipment to it. Mm -hmm. So it's a one piece. That's it. Yeah. So I'll get good B roll with this, but the sound is going to suck. And then this thing has had a a heart attack on me. Something just stopped working on it, and hopefully I can resuscitate it. And that's the deal. These things are awesome. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, they really make good videos. A lot of people out there use them in a daily basis. Some of the um, RV travelers out there, that's how they do their videos. Yeah, and I've got I've got the adapter so I can put a nicer mic into this. If I have if I, I put it on the rig that's on here that I'm going with here, and um, I mount it, and then I've got the mm -hmm. the handheld and uh, the handheld capability <laughs> to walk it. Um, and I've got good sound on there then, and it's just a really wide shot, but I can shoot it in 4K. And these are really nice to have set up around for supporting mm -hmm. um, gear. It's just again, you're gonna you're gonna sacrifice somewhere, and that's why I'd like to make the DJI a platform of choice because I can get 4K. I can do it hopefully in raw, even off of. I don't know. I've got to find out. I've got to find out. I, I know you can do it off of the X5 Pro RAW, and you don't care. But the, I have no idea what that is. the other Osmo, Robert says he's oh, okay. doing it in RAW okay. on that, and I think it only shoots We also have um, drones. Would you love the drones? The, I mean, drones are a powerful piece of mm -hmm. equipment. Um, we have our FAA... A approval or exemption and now I've got to get the other the new one is the new exemption yeah oh, FAA right. 107 or whatever but it's a test and I'll, get, I'll pass it real yeah. fast I'll do that this month well we try to do everything right so we apply for um, the FAA exemption for the company it was done it took a while but it was done and um, we have a few drones and we are getting a few more right yeah yeah. And um, we have a lot of equipment, <laughs> for sure. But when it comes to putting together good video, you're going to find out that there's just like, uh, you know, there's not one saw that's good for cutting. You don't go to a contractor or a construction person and say, what's the best saw? Hmm. They may have a saw that they use a lot. They're going to say, for what? But when it comes to video... There's a different a tool different for everything. Mm -hmm. So if you're just getting into it, if you're not a professional like me, then you're going to want to get something that tries to do everything well. Maybe not perfectly, but you're going to want it to be able to have the widest gamut. So the things that I'm going to tell you to think about are before you go out and buy something like the 5D Mark III, because there is the 5D Mark IV now, or say, you know, any Nikon or anything, make sure whatever you have, if you're wanting to do video, the key things that you're going to look out for are, does it have continuous autofocus? You got to make sure that it has continue, continuous autofocus in video mode so that it's able to do the tracking and it does it well. You're going to want to make sure that's probably the number one for biggest one thing. camera yeah yeah for one camera set up um then the next thing is is what does it record in you got to make sure that it's recording at least in 1920 by 1080p and um, and if you're going to try and record in 4k you're going to want to make sure that you have a computer that's going to support it because even though apple might say that you can edit 4k on their iPads don't take that as if you've got all your solutions done on an iPad for editing because it's just it's not so when you're trying to put together a really f um, professional finished product and you're wanting to do the things you know that that make a finished product the way you like it mm -hmm. 
So, yeah, that's and then and and buy high quality pieces. Don't buy low quality stuff. I mean, I know everybody's got budget issues, but get the it nicest. It depends things. what they want, they are using it for. Yeah. In in your case, this is a professional setup. This is how we do our living. Um, if you just want to create just simple family videos, just don't go and spend you know all this money on equipment unless you want to. Um, but uh, for us, it's important because it's, 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 it's what we do for a living. Um, oh, you just put music on. I put the light on my oh. face, and now I look better. Do you see uh, that? Yeah. Yeah, let's do that for you. <laughs> You're putting that in my Look at the, the RV is like... Yeah, we do have to talk about that. Ready for... Here, turn Don't on your map light. kill my dog. <laughs> Don't kill my dog, please. Okay. Okay, now scoot back. It's oh, very, look at that. It's very uncomfortable like this. Look at me. We get uncomfortable because look at our this. lighting is great now. Again, we love this RV. Yeah. We love this this whole thing was the other reason why we did this video is because I want to go and look at RVs. <laughs> yes, Not for good. us, but for my business partner because we're all setting out on a quest. And um, with that quest, it's 342. We've got to go. Hopefully it's still open. But no, they're open until 5 or 6. Okay, today. fine. Then we've got to go. But we will continue um, trying to figure this out for everybody out there that follow us, um, trying to create and put quality videos and information, and um, just bringing everybody to our home and showing them who we are. So, real quick question, what is your favorite thing about putting together videos? You've started doing it. Like, you've started to get involved, because I keep on telling you, I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> yes. He's not helping me. So, I am um, trying to put together videos. And, and What are you using? I'm using my phone. Okay? This one here. And, um, you know, I capture little things here and there. I, I don't like long videos. I like short and precise and to the point and showing what is interesting. What phone do you use? Um... Is this an iPhone? I know what it is. Oh. Other people don't know what it is. Oh, yeah, it's an iPhone. I'm sorry. I've Which never... iPhone? Oh, honey, you're asking. Do you, I, I, I have no idea. Which one is this? The latest iPhone, right? The iPhone 6S Plus. Okay, iPhone 6S 6 6 Plus. I don't know what it is. Um, quality is okay. His phone is better. Uh, but I can't use this phone, so. Uh, but it's, it's not, it's, it's just simple, to the point, fun videos. That's all. Um, I would like to get into that more sophisticated cameras and, 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 and equipment, and I'll, I'll probably get there soon. Um, I'm still working in my job, so, but I'll probably get to help with more sophisticated equipment. I'm putting some good stuff together for sure. I'm I'm gonna delete that part. All right. 